another really exciting prom video. Sorry it took so long. I know I was like, I'm gonna do prom week and now it's Friday and you're like, mm -hmm, yeah, right. But I do, I've been doing this video and I have another bonus video tomorrow which I'll talk about at the end. But today I'm gonna be showing you three different braided prom hairstyles. They're super different. They all have a very different kind of vibe to them and they're just really fun. So I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is begin by brushing the hair back and then teasing some sections along the crown just to get some lift and volume in the hair so it doesn't lie totally flat against her head when we do the updo. So I'm taking three big sections and I'm just using my flat brush to just kind of back comb it and give it a little bit of volume. I'm just going to flip those sections back over and I'm going to run my brush over the whole thing very lightly so we don't like completely brush out the tees but we do want to smooth down the top so it looks nice and pretty. And then I'm going to do the same things along the sides of the head again to give a little bit of lift to the roots and so I'm going to tease and then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to kind of comb the hair back in the direction that we're going to gather the hair in the back but this again will add a little bit of volume so that it's nice and lifted towards the front of the face which is just much more flattering and then I'm going to pull the hair back and I sorry I didn't like have her turn around for this part but I basically just crisscrossed two bobby pins in the back to kind of hold that part of the hair backwards and up so we keep that lift and then I'm just going in and I'm smoothing out the back of the hair and once that looks good we can go in and actually begin the updo so I'm starting by taking a small piece of hair probably about an inch wide on the far left side of her head and I'm just using a clear elastic and I'm wrapping that around into a little ponytail and then I'm doing the exact same thing with a similarly sized section right next to it so you'll have two little ponytails sitting right next to each other on the back of the head and then when I'm done with that I'm gonna be going back to that first ponytail I'm gonna split it in half and I'm gonna wrap it around that second ponytail so it creates a little donut that has a second ponytail ponytail in between and then I'm going to tie that off using a clear elastic and basically we're just going to keep doing this all the way across except we're going to kind of turn it into a French braid because we're going to incorporate new hair as we go along from now on. So that first piece came across and I've kind of incorporated that with a third piece of hair and this is creating a second ponytail. So you're always going to have two ponytails and you're basically just splitting the first one in half, wrapping it around the second one and then with this I always tie it off so it's nice and secure and this is great to do on yourself because if you mess up you like don't have to start over you just kind of keep going from where you were but basically I just continue this all the way across so it's a French pull through braid there are plenty of tutorials on this online if you want to like see something more in depth and then I'm just guiding the hair on the side of her head back and again I'm kind of twisting these new pieces when I incorporate them in and that really helps to make it look a little bit more seamless and just gives it a really nice and finished look so then when I get to the end I'm just continuing to do the pull through braid on that one last section and again tying off every ponytail and this also makes it super secure and great for prom because it's not going to come out. And then before I continue, I'm going back in and I'm loosening up the braid by pulling on either side. And this is what's going to give us that really unique look that makes it look like a fancy updo. So then I'm just going to do a plain pull through braid all the way down the hair. I have a tutorial on this that I'll have linked below. And then I'm going to do the same thing where I loosen it up and that gives us this beautiful textured volume that looks great in the updo. So once I've completed that, I'm just going to wrap it up and I'm just going to kind of play around with it and figure out how I want to pin it in and kind of hide the end. So I'm just adding lots of bobby pins so it's nice and secure, but because it has so many elastics, it really is a great base to work with and will not come out. And then I'm just tucking the ends under. And after that, it's all about just kind of playing around, seeing what pieces could be rearranged to make it look a little bit better, and just kind of having fun with it. And then the last thing, I'm pulling out some of her little face framing baby hairs, and that's the completed look. Alright, so for this look, we're going to start by sectioning off a little piece towards the front of the hair and then I'm clipping in one weft of a hair extension and this is because we're doing braids, I really want her to have some more highlights in her hair because it's all one color and this will really make the braids stand out. So I clipped this in and I added extensions to the rest of her hair so like obviously this doesn't look random and weird. And then I'm just going and doing a simple fishtail braid all the way down. If you want to look up a tutorial and you don't know how to do it, that's fine, basically you just cross pieces over from either side and then the 
key, as with all braids these days, is to loosen it up. So when I'm done with the braid, I just go over and I pull pieces out until it's nice and thick. And then I did the same thing on the other side, and now I'm just going to cross them over each other to create a little kind of halo crown fishtail braid. And then I'm just going in and I'm bobby pinning until it feels nice and secure. Now this is beautiful with straight hair, but I wanted to curl hers, so I'm adding some heat protectant and then I'm just taking some kind of volumizing spray and adding that in since her hair is really stick straight. I wanted to kind of have some more volume and hold a curl. And then I'm just using a one inch clipless curling iron and I'm just going through and I'm taking about one inch sections and curling her entire head of hair. So this took ages, so I just showed you a little bit. Again, I have plenty of tutorials on how to curl your hair, but this is the completed look and I think it's just amazing and so cute and boho and perfect for prom. So for this look, we're going to start with a really deep side part. So go ahead and part your hair whichever side you find most flattering. And then on the side that has the least amount of hair, I'm using a bobby pin and I'm sectioning off the top and bottom. And we're going to pin away that top section so it's out of the way and start with a bottom section. So with both sections, what we're going to be doing is doing a really tight French braid right along the side. So it almost looks kind of like a cornrow. Um, and I actually had my friend Ari come in and do this because she is the master at doing these braids and I kind of suck. So she braided really a nice tight braid on the bottom and then we're releasing the top section and she's doing the exact same thing. So I think with this it's just really practice makes perfect but if you have a friend who's super good at braiding just call them up have them do this part of your braid and then the rest is super easy. So yeah she's just basically braiding this all the way down and then we've left a little bit of a tail so we can kind of work that in and pin it on the other side. Now for the rest of the hair you could go ahead and leave it straight and do whatever you want to do but I decided I wanted to do some big sexy curls so I pinned up half the hair I sprayed in some heat protectant and now I'm taking a one and a quarter inch regular curling iron. This is by Hot Tools and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to curl probably one to one inch sections all going away from her face and I'm just going to do this to all the hair that is still remaining even the ones that's kind of more on the other side and then I'm going to take some of that root lift spray and I'm going to just put it in her roots and zhuzh it up. Shout out to my friend Isabel for her hand in this. She did some great zhuzh in here for us um, but basically just that adds a little bit of volume and texture to the hair and gives it kind of that messy sexy look and that's it. It is so easy and I think it's so fun and sassy and great for those of you who want a hairstyle that's a little bit different. I hope you guys enjoyed the hairstyles. I had so much fun coming up with them and I really quickly want to give a big shout out to all my friends who helped film this video and were in this video. First of all to Ari because she helped me like orchestrate the entire thing and she helped me do some of the braids. Also to all of the amazing ladies who modeled for me. Uh, first of all Lauren, she was the first tutorial, then Isabel was the second and Nina was the third. They are all so beautiful. Go tell them how pretty they are in the comments below. Uh, but it was just like so fun doing your guys' hair and it was so fun having you on my channel and yeah. And then to my lovely viewers, if you decide to recreate any of these hairstyles I would love to see them so if you post it on Twitter or Instagram go ahead and tag me I'll have all my social media stuff linked down below but I would love to see how they look on you and other than that I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like I said I was gonna tell you really quick bonus video coming up tomorrow it's gonna be embarrassing prom stories because we all know that prom is supposed to be this like magical night but in reality like embarrassing things tend to happen on prom night um, so yeah we just thought that it'd be really funny to share some embarrassing story so each of the girls that was in the video um, is gonna tell you their funny prom story and as soon as I get done filming this clip I'm gonna go tell you mine so look out for that tomorrow like I said I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video bye guys